students in today's class i am going to explain the first unit textual grammar phrase noun phrase and noun phrase in a position unit 1 family textual grammar phrase noun phrase and noun phrase in a position in the previous classes i explained the difference between phrase and a class now i am going to explain what is a phrase once again i re we, we should recall the phrase what is a phrase what is a noun phrase and what is a noun phrase in a position in which sentences we use this noun phrases these sentences what do we call we can see now let us see with some more some examples the first example god made a beautiful creation god made a beautiful creation here in this sentence we can see two nouns god is noun and creation also a noun what is a noun noun is a naming word that names a person a place or a thing okay here generally we use the nouns as the subject of a verb what is the verb in the sentence made is the verb in the sentence here the noun is used as the subject of the verb and here the other noun is used as the object of the verb so the verb the noun is used as a subject of a verb and object of a verb let's move on to the phrase just we'll see a phrase god made a beautiful creation in the beginning in the beginning in the beginning here in the beginning is a phrase this is a phrase a phrase is a group of words which does not contain a subject and a predicate in this sentence in this group of words in the beginning in the beginning there is no subject and there is no predicate a phrase is a group of words which contains which does not contain a subject and a predicate and it gives uh, some meaning but not complete meaning so predicate phrase is a part of a sentence here in the beginning is a part of a sentence without this sentence without these words if we see this only this phrase it cannot give complete meaning in the beginning in the beginning what there is no complete meaning if we add these all words to this phrase we can say that we can say this is complete meaning but here there is no complete meaning only for the phrase so a phrase is a group of words which does not contain a subject and a predicate yes let's have a look into some more examples for phrases okay the first example the sun rises in the morning in this sentence except these three words if we observe the last few words in the morning there is no subject there is no predicate okay so it gives only little meaning but not complete meaning so in the morning is a phrase in this sentence 
okay and it is a part of a sentence in the morning is a part of a sentence the next example raju received a letter on behalf of me on behalf of me except these words <coughs> raju received a letter except this if we see only on behalf of me there is no complete meaning because here there is no subject and there is no finite verb or predicate part so this is a phrase this is a part of a sentence raju received a letter on behalf of me it is a <coughs> phrase it is used in the object of the sentence and the third example akila is showing shouting akila is shouting in a loud voice here what is the phrase yes in a loud voice in a loud voice there is no subject there is no predicate there is no finite verb in this part of the sentence so it is a phrase next one i want to go home i want to <coughs> go home to go home is a phrase these are some example for phrases now uh, i hope it is uh, clear to all what is a phrase a phrase is a group of words which does not contain a subject and a predicate it gives some meaning but not complete meaning it is a part of a sentence let's move on to noun phrase what is a noun phrase before we are going to see what is a noun phrase i'd like to write an example for noun phrase my mom made a big chocolate a big chocolate cake my mom made a big chocolate cake here my mom is the subject of the sentence and made is the verb and a big chocolate cake is object of the sentence here in this group of words cake is noun cake is noun and the other words uh, describing the cake okay a big chocolate cake this group of words uh, helps the noun to do the work of a noun so here this group of words this phrase does the work of a noun so it is called a, a noun phrase a noun phrase what is a noun phrase a phrase which does the work of a noun which does the work of a noun a noun phrase uh, we can use uh, either in the subject place or in the object place let us see here some order is there while you are writing noun phrases you have to follow this order first you should see to write a determiner and next a opinion after that size next shape after that age age of the color color after origin origin after material and next purpose finally noun this is the order you should maintain to write a noun phrase here we we can see an example she saw a bald fat 
middle is man in this bald determine a fat see this is the order a fat middle aged middle aged man noun so this is the order you should follow you have to note down in your essay book this is the order then you can answer the questions in your textbook and you can see some more example of your textbook the first example i bought in brackets it is given beautiful a umbrella red then what is the order here a beautiful red umbrella okay beautiful is a determiner adjective red is a color okay after determiner we should determiners we should use color then next comes to noun this is the order of the noun phrase you can see uh, some more examples here for noun phrase in bracket it is given uh, baby a couple of elephant elephants okay in this way the question is asked in your book then you have to see carefully the order i have told you i have explained so according to that order you should arrange the words in the noun phrase a couple a couple of baby elephants baby elephants okay this is the correct order order of a noun phrase we will see one more example that is ramya has ramya has in bracket it was given nice a sari silk nice a sari silk can you guess the answer according to the order what i explained yes a nice silk order of uh, noun phrase let's move on to noun phrase in opposition yes now let's move on to what is a noun phrase in opposition before with some examples here we have an example sohan is my friend he is very intelligent Sohan is my friend he is very intelligent to combine these two sentences into one sentence to make a simple sentence to make a simple sentence we can use noun phrase in opposition let's do the noun phrase in opposition Sohan Sohan my friend my friend is very intelligent Sohan my friend is very intelligent 
In this sentence, we can find two nouns. Sohan, friend are two nouns. Here is very intelligent is a compliment. Okay. <clears throat> this noun, my friend refers to Sohan. My friend refers to Sohan. This is a phrase and is very intelligent. This is also another phrase. This also about Sohan. So when two noun phrases refer to the same noun which comes before it, which comes before it, the noun phrase, the noun phrase uh, which is after the noun is called noun phrase in apposition. My friend is noun phrase in apposition. Noun phrase in apposition. Sohan, my friend is very intelligent. In this, my friend is uh, noun phrase in apposition. My friend is uh, noun phrase in apposition. One more example. Rabindranath Rabindranath Tagore called Gurudev received received you have to use commas. Rabindranath Tagore after comma. Called Gurudev after comma. Received a noble prize. A noble prize. For his literature. In nine. Here. Called Gurudev. Rabindranath Tagore. Okay. So. Called Gurudev. Is noun phrase in. Opposition. Noun phrase in opposition. Okay. This is about the noun phrase in opposition. I will tell you one more example. Mount Everest is the highest peak in the world. It is located in Nepal. Can you guess the answer for this? Yes. Mount Everest, the highest peak in the world, is located in Nepal. But you should know the difference between noun phrase in apposition and the relative classes. In relative classes, uh, we use uh, who, which, that. But that relative class uh, does the work of an adjective. Does the work of an adjective. So that is also called an adjective class. But uh, noun phrase uh, does the work of a noun. So it is called a, a noun phrase in apposition. Noun phrase in apposition. In noun phrase in apposition, we can find uh, two noun phrases, which refers the same noun, which refers the same noun. This is about uh, a phrase, a noun phrase, and a noun phrase in apposition. I will give you some exercise on this concept. You have to Pay attention towards the subject and do the work carefully and correctly. Thank you.